AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. Hey, look, everybody, over there, it's Laura Harrington, Indiana County Tourist Bureau, joining us this morning for her regular segment. Good to have you with us, Laura. Good morning. Those are my jazz hands. Is that what those are? Yeah. Yeah, show those to the Facebook folks again. There you go. There you go. (laughs) She's got her jazz hands with her today, our conversation Brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. It is amazing the speed with which a season goes by. And here we are in the summer season, but you recently were thinking about the Christmas season. Oh, guess what? Merry Christmas in July, because (laughs) today is July 25th. Yeah. But we celebrated last week in Idlewild on the 19th, Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was great fun. As always, that's our annual trek to Idlewild and Soak Zone, and we love to talk to the folks who are visiting the park, a lot of families, and um, it's amazing how many people we talk with who know of Indiana County, though I used to live in Indiana, I, used to, I went to IUP, and mm-hmm. it just gives us great opportunity to strike up conversation about, well, have you been b- back lately? Um, you should see our beautiful downtown, and here are some of our events that are coming up. And um, just spread the word, and especially about its our wonderful life festival. And, um, and, and so we have a good time with that. Santa what, is there. Yeah, you probably don't get a, an opportunity like that where you have – so many people coming from so many different places, um, generally around this region, but even out of state, uh, on a given day, they're all going to be there at Idlewild Park. So you get to really extend your reach just by a day there. Well, it's so true. Uh, Maryland, um, Ohio, you know, I, I talked to several people who were from out of state. But they not only there, we have folks that come into our office that visit that are visiting from out of state. Mm-hmm. True story. I uh, just spoke with a woman the other day who's visiting her sister, who is a, a resident uh, at IRMC, um, medical family medical resident, sure. and she's visiting her sister. Had to get away from Florida for a little bit, and she said, "You know what? I bought a one-way ticket. There are so many things going on here." Uh, she loves the community, and she's going to stay for a while. She couldn't even tell me when she was <laughs> leaving. Nice. nice. <laughs> so I expect we'll see her back because she, well, she did go home with a big pal of uh, event, event information, and that's who, that's, those are the kind of folks we love to talk yeah, with. Yeah, got to love that. We can set them in the right direction. Just back to Idlewild for a second. Folks can still get t- discounted tickets from the Tourist Bureau for Idlewild, right? Yes, they can. Thanks for mentioning that. Mm-hmm. We are selling discounted tickets to Idlewild. They are good any day, and they're $37. We're accepting cash or check only. See Debbie or Jen. They're waiting for you to sell you their tickets, and, um, and they are good through September 8th, I believe, is yeah. the date. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's an evolving thing when you talk about uh, the number of different uh, entertainment venues, restaurants, um, um, meeting halls and things like that, uh, places open. Uh, unfortunately, some places they can't stay open, uh, the staffing difficulties and things like that. But uh, there's always something uh, and somebody willing to take a chance and, and open something up, uh, which leads me to something that uh, we mentioned on our news this morning. There's a groundbreaking coming today for the amphitheater that White Township is putting in at the White Township Recreation Complex. I think that's just a great, great idea. It's going to be a wonderful place. How exciting is that? And, um, yes, we have other venues, but this will be its own unique uh, venue that will Mm -hmm. provide uh, entertainment for uh, families and school groups and scout groups. And I just see a lot of of great things happening and coming that's very exciting. And I hope to get over to the groundbreaking to celebrate with those great folks from White Township. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, they've been – there's – there's no lack of activities happening there now. That place is really hopping. Right. Around. And thanks to some of our local organizers who have had some really terrific um, fairs and or festivals there. Not fairs, but festivals. And they're still happening. So thank you for keeping that going and an opportunity for everyone to get out and see how beautiful that particular part of our county is. Yeah, they've really upgraded it over there uh, with the paving project and some of the drainage uh, things that they've been doing over there. So it's just getting better and better. 
uh, oh. in White Township. Really nice. Did you know they have a disc golf course there? Yeah. Yeah, and host yeah. tournaments and pickleball and all that. So yeah, they're good stuff. staying on the trends of what people like to go and they're, do. They're working hard at it. The S&T Bank Arena is a, just a wonderful venue for indoor activities and outdoor because of its location there. And, uh, yeah, that's that's really, really nice. Uh, you mentioned, uh, you said that word fair. <laughs> you know, fair season is not all that far away, and uh, we'll be celebrating that. Uh, but uh, there's a lot to happen between now and the opening of fair season. We just had the folks from Blairsville in here talking about the Knotweed Festival. I mean, this schedule is really packed for the summertime, isn't it? It sure is. And I did hear uh, them talking about Blairsville's hopping with things to do. Um, you know, Smicksburg, they're, they're always offering uh, different festivals throughout the seasons. And each community in our county offers something yeah. different. There so. are two really big things coming up this weekend. Um, Mr. McFeely's coming. He is. Do you know him? Um, I don't know him personally, no, um, but I know his family's from the Robinson area. Tell me about this event. Well, it's an opportunity to meet Mr. McFeely himself. Uh, it's actor David Newell, I believe. Yeah, I didn't want to pronounce his name incorrectly, but a meet-and-greet opportunity at the Indiana Theater. Mm -hmm. That's happening on Saturday, and it's from 6 to 10. Uh, they'll be showing a uh, uh, little documentary and and you can talk with mr mcfeely and have question and answer period afterwards yeah so. that's really neat because for people of practically every generation now uh there's a connection to mr rogers neighborhood and and there's mr mcfeely who was there uh with mr rogers all along and he's coming right here to the indiana theater that's that's a very very nice event that, wasn't um, he speedy delivery uh, did they call him he was speedy the mailman delivery? yeah and speedy mm -hmm. delivery was his tagline mm -hmm. yeah yeah. So, and and as we said, his family from from Robinson. Uh, so, so that's one thing. But also, there's a new concert series that is opening up at the Coney. That's pretty exciting. And yeah. I actually heard a commercial as I was um, driving in here. Their first annual Coney Alley concert, and with four acts. And so you can go and check out the Coney Alley concert because that starts at four, runs mm -hmm. from four to ten. Zip across the street, go to the Indiana Theater, meet Mr. McFeely. I have to work on my questions. I'm not quite sure what I want to ask him, but <laughs> <laughs> I know I have questions. Oh, yeah, you're doing a Q&A with him, right? Well, I'm not me personally, but there is there a Q&A session, yes. Yeah. So come prepared. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, and then the groups that they're going to do for the Coney Alley concert, and that's really cool uh, that they're shutting down the alley uh, for the Coney Alley concert series. Um, the Grant Minnick, uh, Righteous Now Acoustic, uh, The Shivers, and the Kiara Smith. But Kiara Smith is really good. She's really good. I've yeah. heard her. and Well, she got a um, recording contract. She, she won an awards. So yeah. great opportunity for live music, which mm -hmm. there's no shortage of in our area. And it's great to have these <laughs> opportunities because down in uh, Blairsville on Saturday, then they have their live concert series. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, well, let's back up a little bit. The NAF Center, Northern Appalachian Folk Festival Center, is having an introduction to Mountain Dulcimer. Yeah. So a little bit different type of music, but, hey, you know, it, it might have just started a lot of the music that we listen to and enjoy around here. And yeah. I know you had um, one of the teachers on, the, on mm -hmm. your show earlier. Yeah, yeah, so we, we had Jenny Schott on with us uh, on Tuesday talking about the concert. Or, well, it actually is a music concert type event, and then they're going to teach you. Jenny is going to teach you how to play the Mountain Dulcimer. So all that's happening on Saturday. All that's happening sun Saturday. Wow. And Sunday, you can run with the Deer Flies. That's another annual event that happens uh, out at Seth, Seth Mac uh, Scout Camp in Penn Run, 25K and a 15K. And then the next, the following weekend, August 3rd, Freedom Church is hosting the Life Rocks Festival, mm -hmm. another a great annual event, live music, and support a great uh, cause and folks that um, just are serving our community. Mm -hmm. Also in Clymer, talk about our communities. They're having a fireman's convention in Clymer, and I understand the parade will be at 6 p.m., so Clymer will really be busy on August 3rd. Yeah. The yeah. Knotweed Festival, August 10th, 
uh, with the parade starting at 11 a.m. And they have live music and vendors and a lot of family fun uh, activities there. And sat- Sunday, come back to Indiana, Philadelphia Street for the Italian Festival on, on August 11th. Whew. There's right. just uh, I- <laughs> so many things happening, Laura. So I'll zip through the rest of the list, and then we can chat. But uh, IUP will be coming back all through the month of of August. However, 16th and 17th is move-in weekend for the freshmen. Uh, Saturday, August 17th, Indiana County Day out at Altoona. Love going to games at the um, Altoona Curve. Uh, Grace Church is, is hosting a courtyard carnival on the 17th of August. So 11 to 2 in their courtyard, a little carnival for the families and to enjoy. Um, you mentioned the fair earlier. Did you know that walk-around passes are on sale now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for the Indiana County Fair? You can purchase those online. You have to purchase them in advance. And um, I wanted to be sure to say that there's a website that you can go on on their uh, fair website to pick up those passes. Um, but at the gate, the gates are a uh, pass is ten dollars. We're just about out of time. Only have a few moments left, uh, Laura. Mm-hmm. Of course, people want to learn about the calendar. It's really easy to do. Just visit your website. The calendar is right there, and they can see it all. Visit IndianaCountyPA.org. It's easy to remember. I can even remember it. We also have a great brochure for July and August events. Um, we're going to be working on fall and holiday events next. Will be the next brochure. So. Oh. Give us a call, stop into our office, and we'll help you out with ideas of things to do. She is Laura Harrington, Indiana County Tourist Bureau. Very busy lady. There's a lot of things to do, and uh, she's going to visit them all. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Uh, Josh and the News coming up uh, in just a moment or so. Fox News first, and then Josh from the WCCS Newsroom. Hey, it's Clint and Galen here from GCES. Since 2010, we've been helping families prepare for retirement. In 2012, we made Indiana PA our home. It's where we put down roots and grew as part of the community. We're here to make your retirement planning straightforward and easy. If you have questions about your future in retirement, we have answers. You can call us at 724-915-0000 or visit us online at gces.us. GCES was voted Indiana's best financial planner in 2023. GCES. Yes, turning Turning retirement retirement planning from from a chore into something more. Advisory services offered by Encompass More Asset Management, LLC, and